If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And it beats the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And it is an upgraded Diata. What if card? I don't know. Uh, well, I say I don't know. I think it was Wednesday, wasn't it? They were upgraded. Big price difference on uh, PlayStation to Xbox. I mean, there always is, but this one is a, a bit big. It's a 70,000 coin difference. So it's 190 to 195 on Xbox, 265 on PlayStation, and basically the same on PC as well. Massive price difference. This is a card that I reviewed first time round. 85 rated, was he? I, I thought he was good, and I gave him a good review, deservedly so, but I, I had small reservations because I thought maybe he should have been better than he was, perhaps. few things I wasn't a massive fan of. This time round, of course, slight upgrade, 90 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. I don't have the old stats in front of me for some reason. Um, I don't know why, it's just not like... I'm on foot bin, right? right now like looking at his stats because it's easier for me to see it than it is on the little blurry screen that i have in front of me and for some reason there isn't just something i can hover over that shows me his 85 stats there should be that i mean, i know there's a way you can do it but it should you know i should just be able to hover over it anyway i digress uh right mid with that much pace four star four star 99 agility he basically is going to command a massive price uh you know there's there's no way you can avoid not paying uh, the the right amount for this guy because he warrants it. You know, you've got 99 stamina, you've got the agility, you've got the 92 dribbling, all that pace. He fits the, the game well for that reason. And of course, he is... I mean, he's not quite the card people wanted because obviously a lot of people wanted Gelson Martins because of that link to Ronaldo. And then he could possibly link in Mbappe behind. And of course, he already has five-star skills and, and so on. So that, a lot of people want that. But this is the, the next best thing. Maybe something that people didn't even know they wanted in Diata. You know, someone who's 5'9", high attacking work rate, lean body type. He is uh, very similar to Gelson Martins without the skill moves. But I mean, a lot of great stats in there. The shot power, 94, finishing 89, positioning 85. Just a really, really good card. The composure is a touch on the low side. That's going to be something we're going to have to talk about. But uh, at 81, it's not ideal. Uh, saw a perfect opportunity here to review Florian Tovan's upgraded card as well. Depending on what EA have done for 6pm is very dependent on what happens with this review, actually. Uh, the, the Tovan review might go out tomorrow. He may be out by the time you're watching this. He may go out later on. I don't know. It depends what EA have done for 6pm. It is Friday, of course. I mean, I'm recording this at uh, 20 to 4 I have no idea what they're doing. Maybe they don't know have any, have any idea what they're doing either. It's a very EA thing to do, actually. Decide five minutes before 6pm. Oh, should we do best of team of the week this week, lads? Yeah, screw it. I don't can't think of anything else. Anyway, I digress once more. Diata, this time around, loved him. Absolutely fantastic card. Uh, don't know what's changed, but he is a different man. Uh, well, I say I don't know what's changed. I know I know exactly. Well, I don't know exactly, but I know roughly what's changed. He's had a plus two upgrade for the majority of his stats. He just feels like a different player. And I know this is going to sound stupid, right? And it's a bit of a meme, fights for the badge. But he just wants it a little bit more. I d I'm not sure if that's aggression or some other form of coding. But he just wants to be involved more. He wants to be on the ball more. He wants to keep hold of the ball more. That's one of the big things that I had concerns with in the first uh, review was that he didn't have any strength what look at this what the hell are you doing uh, he didn't have any strength whatsoever and he doesn't really now to be honest 72 strength but his pace didn't feel maybe as fast as he should do and therefore he couldn't burst past as many players as i'd like him to but in this instance you've already seen a little bit of the um the pace but you'll probably see more as we progress through the clips he just wants the ball more he wants to run and he's capable of it this is exactly what i want from him bang gets the ball gets through there he's too fast can't stop him you'd have to foul him to stop him that's how good he is and that is gareth bale in his prime you know gareth bale in his prime was that type of player where it was he was just too fast and he was too good on the ball and he was just power, you know okay diata's not power he's only got 72 strength he's only five foot nine gareth bale of course is strong 
and he's a lot taller. I'm not comparing them in, in game or in real life. I'm just saying the type of player that Gareth Bale was in his prime when he played for Spurs in that game against Milan is probably the most iconic performance you'll ever see from Gareth Bale. He was just pure speed and, and aggression. And that's what I want from Diata because he's got that agility. He's got that acceleration and sprint speed. That's what I want. I want to play the ball in behind and I just want to let rip, let him run. When this game was first released, and I think it's the same for every single edition of FIFA, when FIFA first comes out, pace is imbalanced. And it's it wasn't imbalanced this year to the point of, well, I say, say imbalanced, that's, a, that's the wrong word. Pace was correct, in my opinion, at the start of this FIFA. I, th I think it was the start of this FIFA, definitely at the start of last FIFA. Pace was actually a thing. Every year we do a video, is pace a thing this year? Well, every year pace is important. We know that. The faster players and the higher more higher agility players are the ones that people tend to use more, especially in this game because it just suits it. You know, FIFA 19 was a little bit more taller, uh, better people in the air, uh, but yeah, better players in the air sort of thing. But this year, pace does really matter. And every year it does. But at the start of either this FIFA or the last FIFA, pace actually meant something. So a player like Diata would be able to skin nearly every single defender going because none of them have that 98 acceleration, 99 agility. He was fast because he's fast. You know, makes sense. Ball didn't curl there. Not my fault. The right, Blame my right stick. It's not my fault, I promise. But he wasn't as fast the first time round for some reason. Obviously, the game gets updated and balanced and all the rest of it and it's just not as good as it was but that aside the 85 Diata didn't feel as quick as I thought he should do this Diata still a little bit off the pace every now and again but when he just gets up ahead of steam and he goes he goes he is fast and you can't get near him regardless of strength the physical stat on the card is a little bit deceiving it says 80 but of course, he does have 69 aggression and 72 strength. Two of the things I'm actually praising here as well. I wish he had more aggression, but I do praise that as well, actually, because he, even though he does have a very low aggression stat, he does want to go into challenges. He wants to get the ball. He wants to come out with the ball. And you can tell he's got that little bit of a sticky ball situation where he can't really lose it as easily as some of the other players do. I'm not sure whether that's something EA code in. I'm, I'm guessing we'll never know. But he does tend to keep hold of the ball a little bit better than I thought he would do. He's a very good card. Banging price point as well. Um, of course, there are a few issues here. There, The composure every now and again does let him down. And you can get muscled off the ball if you don't get up ahead of steam fast enough. And so on and so forth. But for the most part, in the majority of it, it's a really good card. And I would actually really recommend it. It's a, it's a lot of fun to use more than anything else. If you've used this card, let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye.